Hello, welcome to Crowded Lab channel. Today I will do Trolley AI review. This is new AI writing tool, which just recently became available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. Well, we definitely don't have a shortage of such tools, but let's see in this demo if this Trolley AI tool is good or not. Let's quickly go over features, which this tool suggests. Well, they tell they are alternative to Copy AI, pretty popular AI writing tool. They have WordPress and Zapier integrations. They support more than 10 languages. I believe now they support 20. They generate articles up to 5,500 words. I think that can be very handy. They support bulk articles generation. They have grammar checking included. Trolley AI also claims to be auto SEO optimized. We'll see how good it scores in that regards. As AI engine, they have ChatGPT 3.5 and GPT-4. Regarding the pricing model, they have two license tiers and they charge per article. So with AI writers, there are two popular models. First one is that you're given credits per word generation. And this is another model where you have number of articles per month that you can generate. With license tier one, you can generate 30 articles per month, have one user and have limitation, I believe out of those 30, only 15 can be long up near 5,000 words articles per month. And license tier two, of course, it's much better, but also pricier. You have unlimited articles and have limitation of 60 long articles per month. And also a great feature that you can have five users. So for example, you can hire a virtual assistant. So those assistants or assistant can help you generate content. Let's compare that with regular pricing options. They have several tiers and with basic one, you are able to generate 100 articles per month, but you will need to pay monthly for that. So if we will take a look at up some more tiers, I think if you will like the tool, definitely license tier two is better because you are not limited and you pay only once. But again, it will depend on if you will like the output of the tool. Okay, let's move to the testing of Trolley AI. Here you can see the main dashboard. We can go to wizard and this actually is menu new document. For the first test, let's use this keyword, how to improve website speed WordPress. I believe there is plenty information on the internet on this topic, so I expect it to be easier to generate for the tool. Also, we'll see how well the content is SEO optimized and we'll check that in Neuron Writer. And for this keyword, I see that we need to target for about 3,800 words. So let's start. Let's change headline a bit. Let it be how to improve WordPress website speed. And the keyword let's leave as is, how to improve website speed WordPress language, let it be English. And let's go with long form pro. This type of content generation is not available in trial version, but it will be with up some more tiers. With this one, you can generate up to 7,000 words. So let's go with long form and generate title. Okay, it says there should be at least one keyword, but here it is. Let's press enter. Okay, now let's generate title. You can regenerate, but actually I like this one. Let's generate outline. Well, it was pretty quick, maybe less than 10 seconds. I just checked and I think this is a very good outline. It starts with introduction. 
then it moves to strategies, how to improve WordPress site speed. I don't very really like these numbers, not sure how those will appear in generated article. I would prefer have numbers only for 10 ways how to improve website speed. But anyway, let's proceed and generate article. Okay, it says please select an outline to generate an article. Okay, outline number one. Let's generate. All right, we got our article generated. Here it is. Here, I don't know why it's empty. Maybe here is a place for a title, but we had our title previously. Anyway, let's edit. Okay, let it be like so. We have a place for meta description, but a nice thing would be to have a button to generate meta description. Not a problem. Let's get a meta description in CutTab. Like so. Let's put it here. And now let's move to the content generated, starting from introduction. It is on point, however, I think it could be a bit longer. Moving to key factors, about the speed, I think all of those are great. This paragraph is great as well. Common reasons of slow loading, those are on point. And now I would expect a bit better formatting. For example, here are 10 ways of how to improve website speed. Something like so. All right, caching plugins, that's good. Image optimization, that's good. And then it stopped the numbering. Second, it would be good that caching could be third one, themes the first one. And now it starts repeating itself a bit. We already talked about image optimization. We also talked a bit about caching, optimizing database queries, that's good. Optimize images again, repeating the topic. So I would expect this topic to be covered only once. Again, repeating about caching. This one is fine. Reduced server load. This topic is fine. Though again, it would be nice to have a number here, like so. And this one is just a general information about shared hosting providers. I believe it's not needed here. And we have conclusion and a summary. I believe summary we can put at the top so people will have a brief, short, concise information about what to expect in the article. All right, to summarize, the content is good partially. It will need some adjustments and some editing. But anyway, let's put it as is into Neuron Writer and see how it scores about SEO optimization. So it got score 29. I would say it's not the best one because at least we need to beat the score of 51. Okay, let's move to a new test now. I would like to see if this tool can write on recent topics because previous one was well covered on the internet and let's see if it can cover current events. For example, like the topic why Twitter changed to X, which happened about two months ago. Let's go to wizard, enter headline, enter keyword, and let's have a short form because I saw on average on this topic, the articles are about 1000 words. Let's generate. Here are our headlines. Let's use this one. Generate outline. Again, pretty detailed outline, but it would be good if you will be able to edit that. Let's test regenerate feature. We got the second outline. 
which is similar. Let's choose the first one and generate article. All right, we got the article. Again, here is the empty space for the heading. And actually there is one more feature. You can add images. You can search. Let's copy URL. This is the URL, but how can you use that? So by that link, I was able to download this image. I believe those are from some stock image website, but here Trolley AI does not mention what is the source. Anyway, let's move to the content of the article. And here I can see that the tool give just general description about what could be the reasons a company switching its name, like transition to X to address current changes they were facing. It is not mentioning the actual recent information. For example, there is no mentioning of Elon, and I believe on this topic, Elon Musk should be mentioned. Let's quickly look at what other features Trolley AI has. You can have bulk articles generation. Here you would have a name of the campaign. Let it be like so. Language. Let it be manual, short form. Next. Let's have two. Next. Okay. Let it be like so. Top WordPress plugins. Next. Like so. Next one. Let it be like so. So in bulk mode, you will need to add your keywords and headline, and then you will be able to start generating. Moving to the next feature, they have API. So with some tool like Zapier or custom developed website, you will be able to invoke functionality of Trolley AI and get, for example, titles or request short article generation. Again, for example, you would be able to use this API with tools like Zapier. Okay, moving to the conclusion. I think regarding number of features and ease of use, this how majority of AI writers should look like. You input keyword, title, and get your article generated, and also a pricing model where you have number of articles per month. It also could be a good one if you are fine with the content that tool is producing. Regarding the content, with articles that I tested, you would not be able to use it as is. It would need some modifications, some adjustments before it is ready to be posted. It also repeated some content, but partially the content was great. It did detailed introduction. It covered several parts of the article in deep details, but part was not covered. During outline generation, I would also prefer to have more flexibility, for example, to adjust items in the outline manually. And regarding recent topics, I believe this tool is not able yet to cover those. For example, if your use case is right about the most recent topics or events, maybe it's not the right tool for you. But if you're going to write about very well covered topic, maybe you can consider Trolley AI. And as with all tools that hit AppSumo, you have hopes that developers of these tools will gradually improve their tools and will make those better over time. So if you would like to try this tool, please check the link in the description. Also, you may scan a QR code that you can see right now on the screen. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.